कि क्वीन मर्दानी जैसी फिल्मों को ज्यादा तवज्जो नहीं दिया जाता तो उसके बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगे आप मैं इसके बारे में अब क्या कहूँ क्योंकि मैं उनके बिहार पे नेगोशिएट तो करता हूँ नहीं तो आई आई रियली कैन आंसर ऑन समबडी एज एज अ प्रोड्यूसर आप क्या सोचते हैं इस बारे में एज अ प्रोड्यूसर हमारी नेगोशिएशन जो होती है वी नेवर टेल समबडी व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू पे देम दे टेल अस व्हाट दे वुड लाइक टू गेट पेड एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी एंड अप पेइंग देम ऐसा कभी नहीं होता दैट यू गो टू समबडी एंड से आई विल पे यू दिस मच एंड यू डू माय फिल्म दैट विल बी वेरी डिसरिस्पेक्टफुल फॉर एनीबॉडी टू डू सो वो हम नहीं करते बाकी अदर पीपल कैन आंसर फॉर देमसेल्फ्स फरहान हाय दिस इज पूजा आपसे पूछना चाहती हूँ इसी प्लेटफॉर्म पे कि हाल ही में दीपिका पड़ुकोण ने अपना एक वीडियो जारी किया था उसमें उन्होंने कहा था कि वो अपने शर्तों पे जीना चाहती है तो क्या एज अ राइटर प्रोड्यूसर डायरेक्टर एंड एक्टर योरसेल्फ क्या ये आज भी मतलब महिलाओं को ये कहना पड़ता है कि वो अपने शर्तों पर जीना चाहती है मतलब आपका क्या जनरल स्टेटमेंट है और इस प्लेटफॉर्म पर खास कर मेरे ख्याल से जो वीडियो था माई चॉइस Uh, जो दीपिका ने ने बनाया था uh, वो जो कह रही हैं वो उनके एक्सपीरियंसेस से उनके जो एक uh, एक पर्सनल ओपिनियन है वो दुनिया के साथ शेयर कर रही हैं फर्स्टली आई थिंक वी शुड कमेंट ऑन बीइंग रियली ब्रेव दैट शी वाज शेयरिंग समथिंग दैट सो पर्सनल टू हर उसके अलावा आप अग्री करें ना अग्री करें दैट इज़ कम्प्लीटली योर कॉल मगर ये कहना कि यू शुड नॉट शेयर वॉट यू आर फीलिंग और यू शुड बी चैस्टाइज फॉर सींग हाउ कैन यू से दीज थिंग्स वो ये नहीं कह रही कि आप भी ऐसा कीजिए वो सिर्फ ये कह रही है कि ये मेरी मर्जी है कि मैं ऐसा करूं तो आई थिंक दैट इज़ ओके एनी बडी कैन से वॉट देयर चॉइस इज इन लाइफ एंड शी केम और वेरी ब्रेवली एंड सेट वॉट शी हैड टू से एंड इट्स ओके टू अग्री एंड इट्स ओके टू डिसग्री वो आपकी मर्जी है नो बडी सींग दैट यू हैव टू अग्री विथ हर ये भी किसी ने नहीं कहा सो आई थिंक इट वॉज टोटली फाइन आई हैड नो प्रॉब्लम विद इट वॉट सॉन्ग माई क्वेश्चन इज टू फरहान this association mar than population foundation of india to begin with what are you all going to do how are you all going to start off this association uh, well there are a couple of thoughts uh, mud again uh, for what it is that we had started off and what we wanted to do was to constantly be creating content that would be messaging content we've done it so far in the form of some poetry we've done it in the form of two songs now uh, that have come out um, and similarly now with this association we are also hoping maybe to create some content supporting this this show so whether it happens in the form again of some more poetry writing whether it happens in uh, the form of songs that can be either part of the show or can be used to promote the show further um how my personal time can be used to get people to drive people to watch the show um so all these things are currently being discussed but there will be it will be focused on content creation that will drive people towards this show towards this messaging that is essentially what will be happening hi farhan um farhan you've obviously done a lot of research on how um you know men in this country and and women actually um you know look at this whole issue of gender uh, inequality and we are all working towards it uh, to make this happen to make equality happen how do you think are the basic problems that you feel today in our country that exist that are the basic barriers in achieving gender equality you know in all honesty this is a very very long discussion it would be very difficult for me to sum it up and give it to you in one line but i i think at the heart of it all which i think uh, uh, firoz has touched upon poonam has also touched upon is essentially a mindset issue i think that really lies at the root of of every problem um of how a person thinks and what your role is as a man and what a woman's role is as a woman given a certain social setup that we all belong to i think that needs some reworking because when that changes it will reflect in many things it will reflect in uh your uh, the the ratio of female infanticide changing it will change um uh dowry deaths it will change um uh child uh, child marriage uh, happening it will change many many things we will start changing if you start thinking of women not as having to play a certain role uh, in society so it's a mindset thing which i think everyone is trying to to address uh, and if we can find that balance i think automatically it will start reflecting and manifesting in in many different ways sure this show also is trying to achieve that uh, first by trying to just uh, get equality on stage can i ask feroz to come and sit down Yes. Now that equality has been done.
um you know um the show obviously is trying to achieve that and also because now uh, we know we are doing this campaign in a lot of metro cities and we the the program probably will reach to a lot more to the rural areas where this needs to be established um how do you think uh, in houses and households which are in the rural areas can a man stand up in his own way it doesn't always have to be preventing a situation but in his own day to day activities how do you think a man can uh, support a woman in a in a house where she's probably working in in doing household chores or anything else uh well i mean i i, I think at the the basis of it all i think as um, is education i think if you empower a girl by access to education um access to to health um and and hugely again which poonam has spoken about and i completely agree is give them control and charge over their reproductive cycle of when they want to have kids you know if that decision lies with them then they can plan their lives accordingly the fact is if somebody is planning your life for you it's very difficult for you to achieve everything that you set out for yourself if you i mean as i'll give you a very macro example which which is something that could apply to anyone if you go on a if you want to go on a holiday and i plan that holiday for you you may not end up actually having as much fun as you'd like to have if you planned it for yourself it's just as simple as that so if i can plan my own life if i have control over my own life then i can live it to the fullest because i'm completely in in charge and in control all my decisions so i think the most important thing for men and for women because it's equally as important as parents because there's a there's a mother as well you know for for them both to give the girl child absolute control and freedom to exercise their choices vis-a-vis -vis their own life i think that's very very important watch whatever videos they want so with the whole issue of net neutrality that's come up in the last few days what is your take on it because you know obviously if this same mai kuch bhi kar right. sakti hu no, you know, also uh, coming I, on youtube sorry i i'm sorry to interrupt you but i think we're changing topics and going off somewhere else to a whole other issue which really doesn't have anything to do with this right now i i do agree with you i think doordarshan is a fantastic vehicle for the show and doordarshan actually goes to places where people still cannot download something and watch it um it reaches those people as well you know so and television is is it's a very very powerful tool you know um and we are still struggling like he said that there's a population of almost 8 to 9 million people that only have access to one channel of doordarshan and those people for them a smartphone downloading a video clip is is really a very distant reality at this at this point hopefully it will change but um, this medium as far as putting the show out reaching as many people as you possibly can in as many languages as you possibly can i mean there's no other channel that can do it in this country apart from doordarshan and their support for for this is is truly commendable also do you plan to make any appearances uh, because you know in the show will i be what any appearance of you in the yes, show yes we have been talking about this so uh, i'm i'm sure that at some point all this information will reach you Congratulations! Wonderful job. Uh, I really want to know from all the creative people over there. One of the most difficult things in enter education is maintaining that balance between entertainment and education. So I'd like to hear from you any particular challenges and how you dealt with these. Uh, were there times when you felt the education was overwhelming the entertainment, or the other way around? As a creative person, how do you deal with this? Uh, very, very. Uh very important question uh, i must first of all say that i had a terrific team with me uh, my co-writer shraddha singh she's also here i have my editor mandar and so on and so forth all of them uh, were very very clear about one thing is that we are entertainment plus because if we fail on entertainment then the education will go full toss and that's one of the problem with ngos they want to give you they want to put it on your throat any time you meet them you feel you're getting an education class from them so that was the first thing our conversation was ke people are not interested in hearing about all these kind of things unless you get them and the story should be the message i can't say now story stop message come 
Nothing of that sort. The story is the message. We involve them with the characters, and that's why soaps are very interesting. They are highly melodramatic, and so on and so forth. But there is something called the cognitive behavior. And there has been a great you know, theory that's gone down. Uh, there's a Bandura's theory that goes on, Eric Bentley's theory of drama, and so on and so forth. And uh, Miguel Sabido is one master of that. And in fact, he was the person who uh, advised the Indian government to start the first soap opera in this country. So the idea is that you be very strong on, uh, on entertainment, compelling characters, slightly melodramatic because soaps are supposed to be there. Suck them into it and then start giving the kind of good tea that you want to give them. But first get them. So it should never, never get your eyes off entertainment. And it's not about how good a serial I'm going to shoot and something like that. We are very clear. It's entertainment within the ecosystem of the television. That's the, actually the biggest challenge. We've got the most regressive television programming in, this, uh, uh, in the world, I would say. And particularly as long as women are concerned, the kind of things that we make our women do in a television serial, if he will see it from he'll be stunned at looking at these things. So we, were, we had a problem of the ecosystem, the kind of serial that's going on. So we didn't want to say, okay, we are very different, nothing of that sort. We say, okay, this is the ecosystem, this is how the television evolved, we will be very strong in our melodrama, soaps, and with that, through our own values and aesthetics, we will push in all the messaging. That's the way we've gone about it. Paran, when can we expect a film from you, emphasizes on women's world? A film something like that, Dil Chata Hai, which was, you know, totally based on guys' friendship. Well, uh, I, I would like to have a conversation with you after you watch Dil Dhadak Me Do. Hello, uh, to Farhan sir. Uh, with Mart. Right now, other than this uh, promotion of this serial, what is the scheme that you have going 